Hi, my name is Donna Combs, and I teach at Breathitt County High School. I hope you're staying safe and healthy. The title of my project today is called Buddy Benches for the Respected. Many people ask what a buddy bench is. Here is a model of a buddy bench. This bench will be made for the local geriatric center and hospital for the patients and residents to enjoy. My students create this out of treated lumber. The sizes that they used was two by sixes, four by fours, one inch spindles, and number eight inch screws. The two by sixes was cut into two different lengths. The first length was a four foot section, and it will be for the side frame here and here. The next two by six will be cut into 18 inches and they'll be used for here and the seating as well. Then the four by fours was cut into four, 22 inch sections and they're used for the legs. The spindles was cut into 30 inch sections and they're used for under here so that it will give additional support for the seating. And they was all fastened together by a number eight screw. After the coronavirus is over, we have to sand and waterproof these before they can be set outside. They have completed three so far for each facility. The advantage that these kids have learned from this is learning how to operate power tools safely. They've learned how to apply their math skills to real life situations. And they have used teamwork skills. The disadvantages, of course, has been time to be able to complete these with this coronavirus going on. But they have enjoyed each and every opportunity to work on these benches that they have been provided. This project was came into two different sections. So the second section was to use math skills to go out and order from a restaurant. They had to learn how to calculate their tips. They had to participate in etiquette lessons and they had to be able to order from a menu. So after we go back to school, we will continue the rest of this project. The kids have really enjoyed this type of hands-on activities and I have really enjoyed seeing them mature as they grow along. These kids have learned how to read rulers. They've learned how to make modifications to the different types of, of wood that they're using. The first one we started out ended up more like a table than it did a bench. So they had to adjust those sizes. And the projects that they have come up with has been amazing. We would like to think KVEC, the Breath County Board of Education, Breath County High School, and everyone that has participated and provided these opportunities for these young men and women. Thank you.